Today let's look at replacing the idle air control valve or also referred to as the IAC valve. And today we're going to be using a 1996 Ford Mustang with a 4.6 liter engine. Now you can see where the air intake comes through. We've got a nice shiny aftermarket air intake system going into the throttle body. Then we've got the upper throttle plenum here. We've got the EGR valve mounted here. And we've also got the IAC valve located right on the front side of the engine. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect the electrical connector on the original one. And then I've got a, a breather hose coming here, which goes over to the air filtration system. So I'll get that out of the way. And there's also the PCV hose located right below it here in the throttle body. So I'm going to use my hose pick tool now just to, to slide that out of my way. See it's kind of pinched in the way here over top of this uh, upper engine bracket. And so I'm going to get that out of my way to kind of give us a little bit better clearance here to get at some of the bolts. Now this thing's going to be held on just by two bolts. So I'm going to take my quarter inch ratchet with an eight millimeter swivel and remove the two bolts. Now when I gain access to this lower one, you see why I pulled that PCV hose out of the way. It just helps me get at it a little bit simpler. Got my two bolts out, got the old one out of the way. Now the mounting surface is nice and clean. If the original gasket had been stuck on there, we'd want to get a scraper. We obviously don't want any air leaks here. So now I'll take my new gasket and my new valve and well a lot of people like to glue gaskets on I'm not a big fan of that it causes a big mess later and some of the silicone or sealant could get drawn into the engine so if we can install it dry here we're going to be much further ahead so i've got this, the top one started there it allows everything to kind of hang into place and i might even go ahead and snug this up it's going to make it a little bit easier to get that bottom one in place. I want the gasket and the valve kind of sitting where it needs to be. Now I will line it up. Just work it back and forth gently and we'll start it by hand. Get it run in there. Make sure we don't have anything cross threaded. Then we'll go ahead tighten them up. Once it's bolted in place, I can now reinstall my electrical connector. And I go back ahead, put my hoses back in place. So everything's sealed up. And now the next thing we need to do is clear any memory in the vehicle, preferably using a scan tool. If need be, you can always disconnect the battery and let it sit for about a half hour to clear out any memory. But at that point, you're going to erase other functions. And so I prefer to go in, clear out the Keep Alive memory with a scan tool. Then we're going to want to take the vehicle for a test drive, do a couple closed throttle D cells in order for it to learn the new idle position. So be aware, when you start it up, you might idle a little strange at first. After doing a couple of test drives and relearning the new minimum idle position, it should be all set to go. Hopefully now you understand replacing the IAC valve on a Ford 4.6 liter engine.